Nano Brown Boxing, shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. So I'm back with another video today. Um, so according to Boxing Scene, shout out to Boxing Scene, Carol Brook has put the junior middleweight division on notice. He's called out Eris Lonnie Laura, Jamel Charlo, and Jarris with Hurt. Um, the way I really like the way that Carol Brook has been moving this past year or so. I was definitely one of the guys saying that Carol Brook was ducking Earl Spence and how all of the how the ducking was a disgrace. It was pissing me off. Like you know, fight the guy that's a top contender. That everyone's showing all of this promising and just getting a ring with him. You know, be a man about it. If you win, you win. Great. If you lose, take your L and keep it moving. Carol Brook, you know, he did his thing. He got in the ring. He had a great fight with Errol Spence. His eye didn't hold up, and he took a knee, quit. I mean, honestly, understandably so, even though it can negatively affect, affect him moving forward. But it is what it is. Still respect to Kill Brook because he's doing things that other guys in his division or his former division, something that they're not willing to do. So respect to Kill Brook. And on top of that, you know, he's calling out these young lines at 154. Now... When it comes to Kill Brook and the thought of him matching up between Eris Lundy Laura and Jared Hurd and um, Jamel Charlo, honestly, I feel like Kill Brook can give any of these guys a decent fight. But unless Kill Brook has a different level of dog in him that we have yet to see, I see him taking L's to all of these guys. Um like most people would say that like honestly I can't even say who he would match up against the best like I feel like he would lose to all three of these guys for different reasons you know I feel like he would lose to Eris Lundy Laura I think Laura has a level of boxing skill that he hasn't even tapped in yet you know how Mayweather says that he has like a level and he'd never even have to pull out his a game for an opponent I feel like Laura is the same way even though you know in a different style I feel like Laura has a level boxing ability that he has yet to pull out of his bag of tricks and I feel like if need be Laura would box circles around Kell Brook. No disrespect to Brook. That's just, you know, just my high level of respect for Arislani Laura's boxing ability. Um, not saying that fight would be exciting, but it would definitely be uh, a clear display of what boxing is, you know, hitting your opponent while not being hit. So next you got Jared Hurd, you know, fellow DMV guy. Shout out to the DMV. Shout out to Jared Swift Hurd. Um, hey, same result. I feel like Carol Brook would definitely take an L to her. He's too big. He's too strong. Like, and like the thing I like about her is he open, he openly put his uh, criticisms for himself out there. And he let, you know, he'll let the public know. He'll let his fans know, like, these are the areas that I fall short in, but I'm working on it. And, over time, I just feel like this guy, Jared Hurd, is going to continue to get better and better. But even on top of him improving on his boxing abilities on a day-to-day -day basis, like this guy has to be in the gym and constantly working and staying fit for the simple fact. Hurd is a big junior middleweight. He's a big guy to be at 154 pounds. And in order for him to maintain, you know, that weight, his walking around weight and stay at that weight in order to make 154, like his conditioning has to be on point. His diet has to be on point. So you talking about this young guy that's well conditioned. He's working on his flaws and his boxing skills and improving on a daily basis. And he's strong as hell. Um, honestly, I feel that Jared Hurd will break Kell Brook. He will break him down and he will make Kell Brook regret coming to 154 on top of that i don't i don't even see Kilbrook having the ability to, the ability to actually even hurt jared hurt i think um i think you know he 
I think Kilbrook may feel that he was in the ring with Triple G, a bigger guy. And, but I'm like, I don't think Triple G is as well conditioned and he's not as young as Jared Hurt. And I think he'll be facing a whole different animal. I think when Kilbrook fought Triple G, he fought an older lion that was about to start a decline. With Jared Hurt, I think he's fighting a, a younger lion that is like, a couple steps away from his maximum potential. He's only getting better. He's only getting stronger. He's only getting hungry. And he's only getting more ferocious. So that I just feel like he would destroy him. He may not even uh, kill him. Jared Hurd may not even not kill Brooke out, even though I definitely see that as a strong possibility, but he would beat, he would just beat this man and he probably would just make him quit to a point where it's a lot worse than an Earl Spence fight. It's a lot worse than a Triple G fight. And it is what it is. Now, Jamel Charlo, I feel like Jamel Charlo is a mixture of Jared Hurd and Arislani Laurel when it comes to matching him up against um, Kill Brook. I say that because Jamel Charlo's superior boxing ability, but compared to um, Jared Hurd, but Charlo is a ferocious young lion. You know, he's one of those guys that's trying to show the world that. He has power. He can stop guys. He will knock you out. You know, he, he will be relentless in his approach to coming after you if he hurts you. Like, Charlo has made it known. Both of the Charlos have made it known. If they hurt you, they're serious about what they when they call their self lines. And they say lines only. Like, they will pounce on you and they will destroy you. They will devour you from the inside out, from the outside in, whatever it takes. And I feel like Charlo would... Man, he would dismantle uh, Carol Brook just as bad as anyone else in the division. So it's just, I don't see Carol Brook winning any of those fights. If he did, he would definitely surprise me. If he got a draw, he would definitely surprise me. Even if he lost on like a split decision, I would be surprised. But the fact that Carol Brook is making it known that he want to face these three guys, I got to respect Carol Brook. I got to show him a tremendous amount of respect because there's a lot of guys in boxing right now that are ducking and dodging, they won't even mention another guy's name that's a potential threat. And only thing I can do is respect Kill Brook. Now, it would make sense for Kill Brook to get a tune-up fight. A guy that I like people to um, face in a tune-up is Willie Monroe. I think Willie Monroe is a... Not Willie Monroe, I'm sorry, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson is one of those guys where it will be a good test fight a good tune-up fight for anyone moving up in the division or anyone trying to go past just fighting c level or c minus level competition at a weight class i think willie nelson would be a good first opponent for kel brook it, it would be an opponent that would definitely push him you know he's bigger he's a strong guy but you know willie nelson has his shortcomings as well but then, you know, you got a guy like Curtis Stevens trying to move down. And I, I don't even think Curtis Stevens is a good matchup for Carol Brooks for the simple fact. Curtis Stevens got cracked at middleweight. You know, he was a strong guy at super middleweight. And he's fought at light heavyweight at the beginning of his career. So, I don't know who um, who Carol Brooks would be matched up against. And it would be a 50-50 fight. And it would be one of those opponents that's definitely respectable. But the fact that this man is willing... And what he's saying that he's willing, he's calling these guys out. He's publicly letting the world know that he wants those fights. He wants the top competition in the weight class above the one that he just left. The only thing I can do is give this guy all the respect. So shout out to Kill Brook. All the respect goes to you for not being a ducker or a dodger and putting these guys on notice, despite if people like myself believe that you can beat them or not. That's, you know, no disrespect, but... Hopefully, one of these fights gets made. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. Peace.